These two lamps are using a single output from a single controller, yet they are playing a different animation as you can see and they are not connected in a normal way. When one strip is connected to the second one, so the signal can go from one strip to another to another and so on. What we are using here in this example is a modified LEDs 3 controller. A standard LEDs 3 controller has these green connectors for SPI single signal. Sorry. However, for this version we have replaced these with RJ45 connectors. It means that thanks to a differential signal from LEDs 3 device and a shielded Ethernet cable, you can send a signal on a very long distance. We have tested 300 plus meters and we have no issue at all. Each port on this LEDs 3 device can handle 1024 RGB pixels. The way these two lamps are connected is unique because of this other device which we call SPI lamp. The signal from one output goes over a Ethernet cable to SPI lamp controller. Here a portion of data for the exact number of pixels connected to SPI lamp is used and the rest is sent into a next device and over and over over again Ethernet cable so you can send it over a long distance. It can be 50, 100 or even more meters. To set up the exact number of pixels that you have connected to SPI lamp device, you use this dip switch here. In this example, this lamp has 60 diodes on there in it. So you will set up 60 here on the dip switch. This other lamp has 140 diodes. So again, on a dip switch you will set how many pixels are there and the lamp will send it onto your strips and you can connect another SPI lamp device and another and another.